Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're going to look at Excel tips and the tip that we're going to focus on is the VLOOKUP function. This is an amazingly useful function and can save you a lot of time indeed. So it's very important that you understand VLOOKUP, whether you're an expert or a novice. So in this case, we've got some expenses and their flights, food, ski pass. So it's a, a cheeky ski weekend over somewhere, probably Verbier. And that's the amount that you spent. And that's the currency. And you want to try and find out what the total is. Uh, you know all the exchange rates because you've written them down here in this little table. And you want to get a function to look up that currency and return what the exchange rate is. So type V, V look up. What are you looking up? So I'm going to use a little trick here. Control Shift A brings up the function arguments so that I can enter the entire function just via this single thing here. Uh, looking up value, so I'm looking up GBP. Table array, well it's this. Column index, so this is look up this value in this table here where it should be in the first column and I want to return a value from the which column? Well, number two. Range lookup, I'll just type false for this because I want an exact match. Okay, hit enter. Well, obviously, if my currency is GBP and the GBP GBP exchange rate is one, then that's going to be one. Let's just see if I've done this correct. I've selected my range. Alt E S to paste special formulas. Hit OK. Hmm, what's happened? Well, I entered a range and I copied the cell down. But let's have a look at what happened to this formula. Ah, well look, when I copy it down, it moves the table down. So what I need to do is one of the very fundamental things in Excel, I need to fix the reference. So you select the range that you want to fix and press F4. That means that wherever I copy this formula to, that will not change. D7 will change if I copy it down. So D7 is now referencing this cell. If I copy that down, it will reference that cell. So very important. Let's try this again. Copy, paste, special formulas. And there we go. So CHF2, correct. USD 1.5, correct. EUR 1.06, correct. Now I want to multiply that by the amount, so just times that by the amount and copy it down again. And there we go, I spent £589. That was ExcelExperts.com, thank you for listening.